Hello designers! Here we're going to look at sketching the body for our F1 in Schools Primary STEM Project Racer. So you've already sketched the chassis and all we're going to do now really is, is take a pencil to it. So you can see here, we've just sped the film up so that we're not spending too long showing you, but really just using ISO sketch, helping us get the geometry or the, the lines in parallel so that all the drawing looks right and really just starting to draw features onto the chassis. So here we're just putting a little bit of a nose cone on. I'm going to look at putting a front wing on, so I'm just going to use ISO sketch here and draw some lines across on the drawing and just start smoothing things off. So we're just thinking about how the car might look and how it might perform with this front wing. We're going to put some end fences on here, some end plates to the wing. And why not some little winglets as well? This is your design. This is your design, so go crazy with it. There's no right or wrong, no rule book here, so you can put as many fins on your car as you want. That's great news, isn't it? So I'm going to look at the back now as well. So why not, why not make the back a bit more curved as well? Putting a little bit of a shape on there. Just following it round. So we're keeping everything in parallel with the rest of the drawing. Really, using ISOSketch in the beginning of this drawing has helped us out here because now we can just make sure every line we draw is in parallel. And because I can, I'm just going to draw a massive rear wing. So I'm going to draw what looks like a, a, an aeroplane rear wing. And put some little fences on the end there. Do you know what? There's a gap here. I'm going to put another wing in it. Why not? Let's put another fin right in the middle there. So we've got three fins along the back of our car. All we're doing here then is just adding a bit of marker pen. And you can do this with felt tip pen. You can do it with coloured crayons. You could even do it with a pencil. And all I'm doing really is just starting to draw or put some colour in some of those darker areas or even just some of the different sides, different surfaces of our car so you could choose to do this any colour you want. I'm just using a dark grey to begin with um, and I'm going to put a bit of colour on the wheels, a bit of colour on the body and just really start to start to make it look a bit more a bit more fun. So a little bit of a different shade of grey here and I'm just going to use this to make our livery look a bit different. Now we're really starting to have some fun and putting some yellow, some reds different features, putting a bit of shadow on the car, drawing around the underneath of it to make it look like it's got some sun beaming down on it, and then finally some go faster whooshes to make it look really fast. So that's it, hope yours looks even cooler.